Hey, Robin. Hi, Robin. Good morning, guys. So since this movie is about running from the law, I'm wondering what's the worst trouble that the two of you have ever gotten into, not necessarily together. <laughs> yeah, there was that one night in Pittsburgh. There was that one night in Pittsburgh. Uh, I myself, have, I've been pulled over for, you know, minor traffic violations here and there, but, you know, I've never never spent the night in the slammer or anything like that, so I think I've, I've been able to avoid trouble with Johnny Law for most of my life. I'm, I'm lucky that, that I have a similar answer because, you know, I, I came over to the States as... Uh, an Irish citizen about nine years ago and so if I had broken the law and spent any time in jail uh, I may not have been able to get my American citizenship a few years ago so I for one am relieved that um, you know I, I behave myself. Well listen Jason welcome to America. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been and almost a decade but thank you. <laughs> Daniel, um, you, you weren't able to use your movie star charm to get out of that ticket? No, no. At the, at, at the time, there was even less movie star charm to cash in on than there, than there is now. So, uh, no, didn't, didn't help me at all. Didn't flash a little leg? No. Little didn't chest? I should have flashed some leg. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Good idea. So, uh, Jason, tell me about the, uh, all the handcuffing that went on in this movie. Did anything funny go on behind the scenes? Behind the scenes handcuffing. What kind of a question is that? <laughs> oh my God! You know anything uh, go? You know anything happen wrong where you couldn't get the handcuffs off, or you know something <laughs> like that? Wow, my mind is going a million different places right now. Um, no, I, I listen. I had to practice hard with the handcuffs. Uh, I did take the handcuffs home. I didn't show the handcuffs to anybody. <laughs> they were real handcuffs, and I had to keep practicing. You know, um, getting handcuffs on really quick because there's a scene in the movie where I handcuff Stephanie to the shower. Um, Catherine was, Catherine Heigl who plays Stephanie Plum, she was a trooper that day because I kept having a handcuff her the hard way, you know, when you snap them on like that. You keep doing that a hundred times and a bruise, you know, the size of a coconut starts to appear in your wrist and, and she never complained but her wrist was all purple after as I felt, I felt terrible. Um, I, I, as a little bit of research, I did a ride along with the New York, New Jersey Fugitive Regional Task Force. Um, in, in New York and New Jersey who, uh, you know, the U.S. Marshals who track down fugitives because, you know, I'm playing a cop and a fugitive. So I wanted to see how, how both sides of it worked. And uh, when we did eventually apprehend a fugitive, they asked me to to chain him up when we brought him out to the car. And I, I was like, look, I'm an actor. I don't, I don't do this stuff in real life. But, uh, you know, there's nothing like hands-on experience with uh, handcuffs and chains with real fugitives to help you be able to deal with it on a film set. So it did help, but uh, I think Catherine will attest that I still wasn't perfect. <laughs> and, and Daniel, I'm wondering if you, uh, if you ever watched Dog the Bounty Hunter. I did catch a couple of episodes of Dog the Bounty Hunter. I didn't find, uh, I didn't find it as, uh, as informative for this particular role as, uh, as I would have liked. Uh, we had a lot, of, a lot of fun doing uh, gun training, though. There's a particular scene where I'm trying to show Stephanie how to properly fire a gun and that was a kind of a, a very a, a fun scene to shoot. I actually hadn't had too much experience working with uh, with live ammo before so that was uh, quite interesting. You look so, like you do though. You right. look like you're, you're totally total expert. Yeah? All right. Yeah. Okay. Must be acting. I yeah, was, I was acting. Say, are you a good shot? <laughs> uh, you know, as I recall, no. I really wasn't a very good shot, but but Catherine was actually pretty good. She was good. Yeah. She kind of got bruised. Into it, yeah, she did. Bruised, bruised wrist and all. Mm. She's a trooper. <laughs> she is a trooper, yeah. So and that's that scene where I bruised her wrist, she spent all day naked and uh, and I didn't hear her complain once, so um, you know, and that it looks like it was a fun scene to shoot and it was. But, you know, she had to spend practically all day in the, on a film set without any clothes on. So, uh, you know, that, that gets old after a while. And, and she was great. She had a great sense of humor about it. Now, I want to talk to both of you guys about your upcoming projects. Um, Daniel, wow, you've got The Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I mean, without being falsely modest, my role in that film is is relatively small. Although they say there's no small actors, only what? No, only no small roles, only small actors. Um, but yeah, I had a great time shooting that. We also worked a little bit in Pittsburgh, as a matter of fact, uh, same place where we shot One for the Money. Um, and yeah, I had a great time shooting it. It was great to work with Christopher Nolan and such a an esteemed cast of talented actors. That looks really cool. And, and Jason, I'm a big fan of yours, Life on Mars, Terra Nova. Are you going to get that? Um, is it coming back? 
We're waiting to hear. I, my phone could ring any second. Oh, there it is now. No. Um, and, and, and to say that we're coming back for a second season. So, you know, fingers crossed um, we'll, we'll hear any moment. Uh, but uh, we're literally on the edge of our seat waiting for the green light. So fingers crossed. Well, guys, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you very much. Thank you.